Hello and welcome. I'm Vanessa from Hello to Spain and I am in the pretty town of Merla which has been on a television several times recently. Uh, I'm at a detached villa. We've got a garden which is not flat plot but it's a relatively flat plot which is great for um, anyone who's getting older that doesn't want to be on top of a mountain. Um, we've got here which would have been the veggie garden, we've got a little fence here for the garden shed and we've got uh, an enclosed coop for the chickens there. So uh, Merlin, you've got, it's very pretty, There's little bars, little restaurants, uh, the town hall, you have all the traditional fiestas as well in Merlin. Uh, look at this nice little shaded seating area here. And we've got uh, a beautiful feature here, which is the well. The well. Lovely well. Very pretty. Uh, you can see we've got parking. Into parking. There's the house. And we've got uh, a barbecue area here. It's lovely, really nice. Uh, we've got a local sports centre with a municipal swimming pool. The house itself is two separate accommodations. You've got downstairs, which is a separate uh, apartment, and the first floor, which is two double bedrooms. So that's the entrance for downstairs because you've also got workshop and various other things. We've got a pedestrian gate into the property here as well. There's the pedestrian gate there. But you can see a very pretty house, lots of Spanish character. And it's been modernised inside, which is very nice. We've got modern kitchens and bathrooms. We've got beautiful flooring. So we've got a few steps leading up to here where we've got the canopied porch. And then we've got the main door leading into this really nice room here. So this is the reception hall which the owner uses as the office. However, if you wanted to put this back into a bedroom, you could quite easily do that because you've got the wardrobe space there and you've got windows there to the side. Windows double glazed. And we've got central heating. But that's a, a really nice room. Look. Lovely room. Let's say they use it for office room. And then we've got a door leading into the hallway here. And to the right, we've got this beautiful lounge dining room. Very nice look. A decent sized sitting room. Decent sized area for dining and entertaining. And we've got a, a, a wood burner there as well, look. The wood burner got air conditioning in this room, you've got inset spotlights, and then you've got a beautiful glazed door that leads out into patio here, look. And that's lovely, you've got a nice view, nice view over the garden, look. It's lovely. Uh, you've got some stairs there that goes on up to the roof terrace. And as you can imagine, there are very nice views from the roof terrace. But the location of this house is actually really good because it's an easy walking distance of everything in the town. Uh, so you haven't got the mountain to walk up and down. Anyway, kitchen. So, yeah, modern kitchen. We've got a beautiful breakfast bar there, look. We've got all these cupboards here. Absolutely loads of, uh, loads of storage in here. All your kitchen glasses, pots and pans, you know, the whole wall is full of storage. And there's a couple of cables hanging, you could be asking why I asked the same question. For television, that side, and for an extra fan, that side. Um, but as the owners decided that they're selling and they're moving, they're changing country, they're going to move to another country, that they didn't want to spend any more money on the house. And you can see, really nice kitchen, quite a sociable kitchen. You can, someone can be this side doing the cooking, someone over this side. You'll be sitting down, get some bar stools. Modern kitchens, modern bathrooms. And coming on back down here, 
Okay, so as I said, we've got two double bedrooms. This is a double bedroom. And um, we've got double glazed windows. And we've also got the inset spotlights to the ceiling. And we've got a little en suite on here as well. So we've got a suite shower room. We've got a walk-in shower, vanity unit, WC, in there. And then let's go down here. So we've got the main family bathroom. You've got the bath, shower cubicle, WC day, And you've got the vanity unit there as well. And a window and a radiator. Of course, you've got those inset spotlights to the ceiling. Now, this is a beautiful room. This is a really, really nice size bedroom. Look at this. This is the main bedroom. Nice big bedroom. And it's got the view just over, over the garden there. So, yeah, decent size bedroom. So, you've got recap two bedrooms upstairs. You've got a family bathroom. You've got an ensuite with that bedroom. That's the smaller, but it's still a double bedroom. And you've got the kitchen to the right. Then you've got the sitting room to the left. And you've got this beautiful reception hall, which if you wanted to, you could put a partition wall up and have another bedroom here. So if you wanted three bedrooms upstairs and a guest apartment, um, you can do that here. So anyway, let's go downstairs. So downstairs, let's say we've got uh, a separate apartment, but we've also got an office and um, yeah, a man cave as I would call it. So we're downstairs now. So this is the main way into downstairs. As you can see, we're straight into a massive room here. And we can see the wall, they've got a radiator here as well. And then coming through here, this is the office room. This office room actually has underfloor heating. Uh, the rest of the house has got the radiators, but this one's got underfloor heating. But again, really nice. You know, if you wanted this as a bedroom and have it as a completely self-contained apartment, well, it is self-contained anyway. Um, you've got this big room here, and then you've got that door going out. Uh, I'll take you in here first. <coughs> So we've got plenty of storage, storage, more storage, man cave, workshop. As you can see, someone likes fishing, lots of fishing rods there. And also you've got, that's the oil for the central heating. So you've got the central heating boiler and the hot water boiler down in here. So, you know, it's a, sort of an Aladdin's cave, really. Uh, so let's go through. This is the door into the apartment and the son's living here at the moment, downstairs. So this is the son's apartment. Um, behind this curtain, you've got the utility here, look. So this is all in one bedroom, sitting room. And then in here, we've got the kitchen. Again, another modern kitchen. Um, you've got the built-in fridge freezer there, look. Beautiful cooker, look. So, decent sized kitchen downstairs. We've got a door that goes on out to the parking area and the rear garden. So, it's got its own entrance. So, if you wanted to just rent this out here, what I'm in now, this section, you could put a, you've got a lock on here, but you could put a proper lock on that door. Um, then you've got the shower room. So, again, another modern shower room. Look, so you've got the, the walk in shower there. But anyway, it's a, it's a nice house, and more impressively, it's the location. It's a very, very, very good location here. Um, as I say, you can walk to everything. I mean, I parked just down by one of the local bars and just walked up. It took me a minute. Uh, and if you like walking or cycling and any of the outdoor activities, uh, you've got the whole of this mountain range to explore. Absolutely beautiful. Yep. Anyway, um, thank you very much indeed for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll be delighted to yeah, delighted to show you this house. Really nice house. Um, there's room for personalising the house as well, but the location, superb location. Okay, thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye bye.